<laughs> so what's what's it like being in placebo? I mean, uh, every young boy's dream. Ah uh, yes, <laughs> um, it's great. You know, it is. It is. It's an absolute dream. You know, it, it's uh, it's opening me up to a world of of um, possibilities and, and and experiences that you know have totally changed my life. This is the real rock and roll, people. This is the real rock and roll. See, a lot of bands will have alcohol spread out and drugs, and that's not the way forward. The way forward, my friends, is herbal tea. When when we were my old band, we were getting ready to open up for this band from Europe, and we were on our way to the venue. And I said, "What do they sound like?" So, so my manager put on um, "Without You Nothing" album. And the first song I heard was Pure Morning, and I just remember thinking, this girl's got a really cool voice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then we met him, and then I was like, oh, okay, he's, he's, he's a man. Uh, and I saw him live, and I was blown away. I was like, well, what a show, you know. Because listening to the CD, the songs are there, but, you know, it didn't really capture the intensity that is live. And after seeing them, it was like, well, I fell in love. And it was only three shows. And then I went out and bought a couple, I think I bought the Meds album and Sleeping With Ghosts album. I used to listen to it all the time, you know. It's funny because a year and a half later, I was playing with them. <laughs> Pickles, get some fruit, get some ham, you know, this is very essential. Waters, mm -hmm. everything organic. This is what keeps your body going when you're playing every single night and traveling so much. You can't, you have to put good things in your body. So, it's just pretty much our, our little spread, you know. A little bit of honey, a little, some throat, I think we got some throat tea, throat mm -hmm. cup. That's what keeps Brian. Brian going. Yeah, this is this is a uh, this is the rock and roll man. I, I would like to think that I bring you know a lot of energy and enthusiasm. You know, when 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 everyone sort of gets down and tired, you know, after been doing it for so long, I try to try to you know lift everybody's spirits and remind them why you know why we do what we do. You know, and how lucky we are to be able to do this. And so I mean, as far as personality wise, I try to bring a lot of positiveness and, and joy and. Um, and live, I, I try to bring a lot of excitement and energy on stage and, you know, get everyone going. And I think that rubs off. When, when we get to the venue, um, just about every time there's posters and pens laid out for us to sign, and usually it's for the promoters or for some charity or, or for uh, someone. So they always, they, this is pretty much standard, come in, posters. It's only one today, though, which is good, because normally there's this big stack of them and then some CDs as well, so you got to sit down. And by the end of it, you sort of written your name so many times that you start writing like a child. You show up to the venue and sometimes you have like four hours to kill and you're just sort of sitting around and just waiting for to play because that's, that's the best part. And so we come in, have a bit of dinner. I usually, if I get here early enough, I'll play drums for a little bit. Chill out, watch the other bands tonight. We have United and Next Patriot playing. So I always like to go out and watch them play before I go on stage. Because sort of seeing a rock gig gets you sort of pumped up for your own gig. You know, gets you, when you see someone play, you want to play. When you see someone get tattooed, you want to get tattooed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's sort of like that. And then when we go on stage, we, we play and usually hang out. Um, sometimes we're straight on the bus, we have to leave. Other times we get to hang out a little bit after the show. Spend some time with some friends and and sort of relax a little bit before hopping back on that on the tour bus and sitting. <laughs> Stefan will probably sign somewhere around there. He usually does. We have always have little designated spots. Brian, middle. Me and Stefan on either side. Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>